Bad News. I'm Duncan Moss. And I'm Mark Legg. And we get a show for you tonight, kids. It's National Disaster Week here at Newfoundland News. And Duncan Wiles has got a story for you. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about the Newfoundland tsunami that hit us uh, back in no November 1929. The tsunami was triggered by an underwater earthquake that occurred on the southern edge of the Grand Banks, 265 kilometers south of the Buren Peninsula. This earthquake registered a 7.2 on the Richter scale. The earthquake triggered under, a sizable underwater landslide which, uh, on the Grand Banks, which triggered large waves across the ocean surface heading towards Newfoundland at speeds up to 140 kilometers per hour. Three successive waves hit Newfoundland and caused sea level to rise up to 27 meters in some areas. This tsunami killed 28 people, caused over a million dollars in property damage, and washed up over 127,000 kilograms of very valuable salt cod. This occurred over 80 years ago now today, and we know it'll happen again thanks to our friend James Hutton and his theory of uniformitarianism. Very good, Duncan. I think we have, yes, we have Brandon Kelly out in the field. He's going to give us something on earthquakes, I think. Thanks, guys. Uh, I just talked to my seismologist, Sheldon Marsh, and we just had a first wave 2.24 shock on the Richter scale. He said we should be expecting a second wave any day now. And for safety concerns, people should stay on flat ground or in a field and not go in their home until it's cleared up. <laughs> dude, dude, are you getting this? I think I feel it. I think I feel it. Oh, well, geez, that was quite the uh, time he had out there. Hopefully everything's all right. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Well, continuing on, I'd like to talk about Yellowstone National Park's volcano. Yes, the big volcano, not just any volcano, a super volcano. And it hasn't erupted for 640,000 years. But we're due for it to pop anytime soon, Duncan. And the reason that we should all be concerned about this is the amount of pyroclastics released in the air. It could not only cause harm to any close populations, but it could seriously damage all of Earth's populations. And we should really be worried about it. Our meteorologist, Cameron O'Neill, has more information on that. Cameron? Thanks, Mark. I'm Cameron, meteorologist of the Newfoundland News. Now, this volcano is 40,000 years overdue from an eruption. When this comes to the volcano does go akaboom, it will change the weather around the world for multiple years. The stationary magma chamber, which is under the state of Wyoming, is building pressure, which will shoot lava out its 55 by 72 kilometer wide caldera. This will send pyroclastic material into the atmosphere, which will cover the earth in a layer. Some areas up to 4 meters in these states around the crater, and due to the prevailing winds, which will blow it over Newfoundland, causing about 1 to 2 centimeters. All this will block out the sun, plummeting Earth's temperatures, which would result in four to five years of no summer. This is called a nuclear winter. Let's hope this volcano does not erupt anytime soon, but as it did 640,000 years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 2.1 million years ago, it sure will again. Back to you, boys. Okay, well, thanks, Cameron. I think that uh, just about wraps up our show here for tonight. From everyone from NTV News, we'd like to thank you, and myself, Duncan Wallace, and myself, Mark Lake. We hope you guys have a great evening now, and see you again next time. Keep on rocking in the free world.